Today we're spending the afternoon at the Bennington Center for the Arts, located off Route 9 in southwestern Vermont and home to eight fine art galleries, a 315-seat theater, and the Covered Bridge Museum. The goal of this nonprofit organization is to bring world-class representational art to the visitors and residents of this beautiful area. So we're here now with Shirley Hutchins, the gallery director here at the Bennington Center for the Arts. Hi, Shirley. Good afternoon. Thank you for coming. Thank you. So tell us how you got started at the Bennington. I was actually living overseas, had a little daughter and came back to help them out and 18 years later here I am still helping them out as gallery director. The building was built in 1994. Um, my mother Elizabeth Small and my stepdad Bruce Lamweister uh, decided to build an art center for the community. So the original part of the building is a 300 seat theater and two galleries. Over the years we've added a couple more additions, um, a lot more shows, and it's been wonderful. Wonderful. We uh, have the goal of bringing world-class art to the residents and visitors of Bennington. So tell us about the exhibit that we're standing in right now. This is the national show of the Oil Painters of America. Two years ago we had the regional show, the Eastern Regional Show. This year's the national, so it's a, it's a wonderful, wonderful exhibition. They do one national show every year, always vary it from east to west. So you'll see behind us, you know, some of the awards. Um, the opening weekend was in early June, and the awards were selected, and the show will be up until the end of July. And this, for example, is a piece by Nancy Howe. She is a Vermont artist, also a master signature member of the Oil Painters of America. But I wanted to show you this. It's a very special piece. So are there other exhibits here at the Art Center that you could show us today? Yes, we have Art of the Animal Kingdom, and that show will be up through the end of July. So Shirley, tell us about the Art of the Animal Kingdom exhibit. I'm happy to. This is our 19th show. I'm very proud to say that this is one of the best wildlife shows in the country. This particular show is juried by a sculptor from Loveland called Rosetta. Very nice. And there's paintings and sculptures. and Yeah, we have um, even stone carvings. Sometimes we have um, wood carvings, we have pastels, we have acrylic, so it really runs the gamut. Again, representational, some are very loose, some are very tight. Uh, it can be wild or domestic. So we get just a, a broad range. We have a lot of the African animals, we have a lot of North American animals, so you never know what you're gonna see. So you mentioned your special guest artist, and I was curious about Rosetta and this piece in particular. Yeah, so this is very typical of Rosetta. You can see she's got a very distinct style, very modern and very, very sharp. Um, she tends to like to do felines, but she has branched out a little bit more and doing some different things, but she's just very stylized, but she does beautiful work, and we're just very happy to have her as our special guest artist. So it seems like you have a beautiful collection of Southwestern artwork, so tell us about this. Well, this is kind of what started it all. Um, as Bruce Laumeister spent his winters down in Tucson, he became very uh, much in love with the artwork there. So he started the collection. Uh, it includes paintings and marble sculptures and baskets and things. Mm -hmm. And so when he built the art center here, with, it was with the idea that he would display his permanent collection. So it's primarily of Native Americans or by Native Americans. So it's a mixture of both. In addition to this, we have um, the baskets, as I said, we have a nice collection of pots. We have a beautiful collection of kachinas, the little Indian dolls you may be familiar with. We've got some fetishes and some jewelry as well. Beautiful. And again, this is part of the museum portion of the art center. So this room caught my eye. What material is this made out of? This is all made out of wood. So master carver Floyd Scholes uh, carves every bit of this out of wood. You can see the cactus, the lizard, the bird, everything. It's very realistic. So he does a workshop here during the summertime usually? Is it once a year or? He does typically, I think his shortest workshops are four or five days. Sometimes mm -hmm. they're as long as 10. And I think, again, typically throughout the year he tries to do four or five workshops. Mm -hmm. So a big part of our history here in Vermont are covered bridges. And I see mm -hmm. you have a wonderful covered bridge museum here. We do, we do. Um, a wonderful gentleman named uh, John Dostal came to Bruce and suggested that the town would really benefit from having a museum. This whole state has so many of them and so we're so well known for them. So Bruce jumped on it and built the Covered Bridge Museum. And in it, it shows a lot of the history of the bridges, shows photographs of the existing bridges, it shows how they were made, what tools were used to make them. Um, there are a lot of fun stories um, about some of the bridges, you know, myths and, and things that happened within the covered bridges. There's also quite a bit of research that has been done and compiled here 
not only in Vermont, but covered bridges everywhere around the country. So you can come and look up information um, back at our research center. Mm -hmm. There are um, computer generated um, models as well so that you can find where the next bridge is, how to, how to get there, different routes that you can plan. So there's a lot of different things hands on for yeah. kids love it as well as adults. It's really neat. So I see you have some very unique outdoor sculptures. Tell us about this. We do. These are by Lyman Whitaker. He is a gentleman out of St. George, Utah. And Bruce saw his works out west somewhere mm -hmm. years ago and he has a nice installation out front. People see as they drive by, I think mm -hmm. there's about 13 of these. And we started selling the smaller ones um, over the years and they've been very, very popular. He's yeah. come out with all kinds of new styles. We get some very strong winds. They do very, very well. Very fun to watch. Well, all copper. Um, again, very well made and, mm -hmm. and very beautiful. So please tell our viewers where they can learn more about the Bennington Center for the Arts. Okay. We have a website. It's www.thebennington.org. We are a nonprofit. Our phone number is 802-442-7158. And we're just west of Bennington on Vermont Route 9 on the way to Albany. Wonderful. Yeah. Look forward to seeing you again. Well, thank you very much. Thanks for tuning in to the Visitor's Guide to Southern Vermont. Stay tuned for more.